Hi, this is Larry, and I'm here today with the Room and Loft team to guide you through the step-by-step -step process of assembling and installing your new Murphy bed. But before we get started, I wanted to provide you a few words of advice and caution. First, this is a job that's going to require two people to complete. Second, while this video may be very informative, please be sure to read the written assembly and installation instructions found in box number two. The written instructions contain more information than we can pack into this short video. Please never over tighten any of the screws or bolts. Over tightening may lead to a stripping of the threads, creating a weak connection. Fourthly, to avoid damaging the beautiful finish on your new Murphy bed or damaging your floor, you should pad your floor with some blankets or something that will provide a protective barrier covering about an 8 by 8 foot area. To stay organized and allow plenty of room to build your new bed, you will be opening the curtains in numerical order. Okay, gather up your tools. You can refer to page 3 of the assembly guide for a list of tools that you will need to complete this job. Alright, let's get to assembling your new Murphy bed. Start by opening boxes 1 and 2 and lay out the panels. Spread the side panels about 64 inches apart and about 20 inches from the wall. For this portion of the assembly, you will need bubble pack number 1 from box number 2. Remove the safety chains from bubble pack number one, along with eight of the K123 screws, and attach the safety chains to both side panels. Insert a K111 barrel nut into the hole on the upper corner of each of the side panels and align them. Now, roll up the side panels and top bridge and connect them together using the guide dowels. Now insert the K110 bolts, hand start, and snug them up. Lift the top back panel and insert the K111 barrel nuts and align them. While holding the panel in place, insert the K110 bolts through the holes on the top bridge and hand start them. Now snug up all the bolts. Okay, lift the headboard and insert the guide dowels into the holes on the side panels. Press the side panels together to keep the headboard from dropping. Insert the barrel nuts and align them. Insert the bolts, hand start them and snug them up. Alright, the outer case is assembled. It's time to lift the bed case and place it against the wall. But before you do, for a safe and sure connection to the wall, it is imperative that you remove any of the chair rail molding or quarter round molding. Refer to page 8 of the assembly guide for more details regarding this requirement. Lift the bed case up and walk it to the wall. With your stud finder, locate and mark the center of two wall studs. When marking the stud locations, make sure that you mark the center of the studs. This will ensure a secure connection to the wall. Confirm that the side panels at the bottom of the case are no more and no less than 64 and 3 quarter inches apart, measured outside edge to outside edge. Follow the written instructions on page 10 to determine which of the spacer blocks, if any, that you will need to install. The spacer blocks needed are determined by the thickness of your base molding. Now you're ready to attach the base of the bed case to the wall using six of the K119 screws. Drive the screws through the connection holes on the metal frames and into the base plate of the wall at a 10 degree downward angle. You should feel resistance as the screws penetrate the base plate. Okay, open boxes three and four and lay out the bed tray panels with the wood side down. From the hardware boxes, gather up six of the K153 connector bayonets and lay them out. You will need bubble pack number two for this process. 
insert the K153 bayonet connectors about halfway into the open channels on the bed frame and insert the K105B bolt with a K106 fender washer. Once the bolt is through the hole, add another K106 washer and a K143 lock nut to the back side and snug up the bolts. On the ends of the bed frame, you will install two of the bayonet connectors. One slides inside the channel and one will mount outside of the channel. For the interior channel bayonets, you only need a single bolt to stop the bayonet from moving out of position inside the channel. Now slide the two frames together and connect them with the bolts, washers, and lock nuts. Check that the wooden tray faces are flush at the top end and snug up the interior seam bolts first. By snugging up the interior bolts first, you are allowing these bolts to draw the frame together tight. The last bolts to snug up are the ones holding the exterior bayonets on both ends of the frame. Go ahead and snug up the bayonets on the ends now. From both hardware boxes, gather up the K173 mattress hoops and insert them into the holes at the bottom end of the bed frame. For this next step, you will need the two K114D gas springs from the hardware boxes. Slide the eyelet on the barrel end of the gas springs onto the gas spring post on the side panels. Hand start the K143 lock nuts, but do not tighten them up just yet. Now carefully lift the bed tray up and move it between the side panels and set the bearings onto the bearing saddles. Install the K172 bearing caps on top of the bearings with a K113C bolt. Lift the end of the bed and prop it up on a box or books or something. From the hardware boxes, get the two bed tray handles and remove the attached screws. Insert the screws through the pre-drilled holes on the bed tray. And while one person reaches under the bed tray to align the handles to the screws, the other person can snug up the screws. Okay, lift the bed tray and connect one of the safety chains. Press and hold the bed tray back inside the bed case. Reach inside the bottom of the bed tray and locate the gas spring rod. Connect the eyelet on the gas spring rod to the gas spring post on the bed frame. Now install a K143 lock nut and tighten it up. Do this on both sides. Undo the safety chain and lower the bed tray. You will feel resistance as the gas springs want to close the bed. Lower the bed all the way down and hold it down while the lock nuts are being tightened on the upper gas spring posts. Whatever you do, do not let go of the bed tray or it will close at a rapid rate. Continue holding the bed tray down and connect the K156 foot rod to the K155 flip over legs using the K110 bolts, K139 lock washers, and K141 steel washers. Now connect the foot rod and flip leg assembly to the bed tray. Pay close attention to the order of the washers as shown on page 24 of the assembly guide. The nylon washers act as a slippery barrier for easy operation of the leg assembly. While holding the bed tray down, place the mattress deck panels onto the bed tray and attach them using the K101B plastic fasteners. Keep the bed tray down and place the mattress onto it and center it. The weight of the mattress will now hold the bed down. Now attach the K162 bed tray bumpers by inserting the guide dowels into the holes and attaching them with the K104B screws. Lift the bed tray about halfway off the floor and flip the foot rod assembly over the mattress. 
With the bed closed, insert a folded piece of cardboard near the top of each side of the bed tray. Now your bed is square and needs to be attached to the wall to keep it that way. Have the bed case pressed back against the wall. Make sure that when you install the K104A screw into the wall stud that you feel resistance. Resistance is your assurance that the screw is entering the stud correctly. If the screw goes in all the way and spins freely, you have missed the stud completely and need to check your stud position markings again. Use the K123 screws to attach the K102 bracket to the top of the bridge. Okay, let's get to building the desk tray. Start by opening box number 5 and lay out the panels with the back sides up. Insert the K111 barrel nuts into the holes on the hinged back panel and align them. Connect the back panel to the desktop using the guide dowels and insert the K110 bolts. Hand start them and snug them up. Now insert the K111 barrel nuts into the holes on the triangular side panels and align them. Join the side panels to the back panel and desktop assembly. Insert the remaining K110 bolts, hand start them and snug them up. Attach the desk pivot rods to the kick plate using the K123 screws. While one person lifts the desk assembly into position against the bed tray, attach the desk to the bed tray using the K121B screws. Attach the end hinges before connecting the middle one. Now attach the kick plate hooks to the bed case sides and connect the pivot rods to the desktop using the K113A bolts and K128 binding barrels. Lastly, insert the wooden plugs into the holes on the side panels. That's all there is to it. We hope this video has been helpful to you and we thank you for watching.